Hello, and welcome to Everyday Pipes, Episode 3. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, pipe out of a uh, paper towel roll, and uh, how to flavor your smokage. Uh, because it seemed fitting after Halloween, I had some stuff around. So get started. First, I'm going to uh, take a pair of scissors in my tube here and use an aluminum bowl or my steel bowl which I use for pretty much everything here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this and I'm going to show you how to make one with a aluminum bowl. It works just as well. Uh, just take your scissors and put a hole in it. There's a name for this uh, type of pipe. It's called a steamroller. Because it's a roll. And, you, know, you get the idea. Plus, it gives you a pretty massive hit if you do it right. And then you just take your uh, top, uh, your bowl and uh, fits in there nicely. And then cover up this side of your hand, put the other end uh, around your mouth, and then you light it, fill it up, let go with this hand, and just take that hit like a trooper, and it will knock your ass to the floor. <laughs> um, uh, you can also do this with an aluminum bowl, and but we're not going to use the same bowl method as what we made uh, on episode two. I'm going to show you how to make it from scratch, and uh, it's a little bit easier actually. But uh, it takes practice to get this perfect. Get a nice strip of aluminum foil and you, uh, take one in and fold it down and uh, to where you have a nice you know full sized deal and then tear the rest off. Set it aside, you can use it later. And you've got yourself a nice squarish deal. Put your index finger right in the middle of it and just crumple it over your index finger. Make sure to pinch and fold any gaps that you've got. And then there's that. Uh, take a mechanical pencil or uh, the pen I used earlier and melt the shit out of it. And just uh, Kind of, kind of uh, narrow down just the end of it right there, and make sure you fix any uh, faults you made in the bowl by doing that. Make sure you keep it wide enough to get a good uh, bowl in there, and then take your scissors, flatten out this part. And then take your scissors and just make little snippets. Not too big. Just little, about three of them. And then stick your pin back down in there. It shouldn't be too much problem. And you can't, probably can't see them that well, but smoke does go through there. And I just drop And I mean, this takes up too much memory, so I'm not going to. You have to live with it. Take your bowl here and just shove it down in there until you got a pretty nice bit. You may have to enlarge your uh, hole a little bit, but just to show you it will work. i go over here and grab my lighter. Okay, there you go. And smoke to your heart's content. Okay? And I'm going to show you how to flavor your smoke. Now, 
You can do this several ways with any pipe as long as you can modify it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the second pipe in the process. What I've done is I've taken a, a Bic Grip Permanent, which is a Sharpie made by Bic, um, taken the plug out of the one side, cap off, I've taken the felt tip out of this side, and I've taken the inner uh, ink little cartridge thingy out of there. And this uh, the big model is all one piece, as are I think most sharpies. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a box of Nerds or your favorite candy that comes in little pieces, and if it comes in a bag, put it in a box, or else it won't work correctly. Uh, take your scissors and make a hole on one side. Doesn't have to be perfect because you can always cover it with tape and uh, size it perfectly. And stick what you're going to use as your mouthpiece in there and use tape to seal it if you need to. You cut it out perfectly, which I do not, and you don't need to do this part. Real simple. taping issue right here and then poke another small hole at the top here and take your bowl and there you have it got your own little flavored smoke Um, after a while the resin will coat uh, everything in the box and it won't uh, be the same it w you'll lose your flavor but damn not the cover but um, um, you can take that out and eat it give you a nice little buzz or grind them up and put them in uh, brownies so you have the resin and the brownies and a little great twang to it um, uh, that's it for episode 3 but I will ask that you go ahead and uh, put anything in, like show me your work um, do any kind of uh, comments, video responses. Tell me what you want to see turned into a pipe, and I'll see what I can do. Have a great whatever it is to you right now, and this is Everyday Freak saying be safe, be well, and be happy.